There are several concerns about the Omicron variant and we are still not sure exactly how it will behave going forward. However, we already have the tools that we need to protect ourselves against it. Tonight, I'd like to call on every person who has not been vaccinated to go to their nearest vaccination station without delay. This is the time for us to go and get vaccinated. Vaccination is by far the most important way to protect yourself and those around you against the Omicron variant, to reduce the impact of the fourth wave and to help restore the social freedoms we all yearn for. Government has set up a task team that will undertake broad consultations on making vaccination mandatory for specific activities and locations. That is, to make vaccinations compulsory for certain, certain locations and certain activities. A number of other countries, even in our own country, a number of companies have made vaccinations mandatory. I'd like a consultation to be engaged in, but I do want us to treat it seriously so that we are able to defend our people. The country should remain on coronavirus alert level one for now and that the national state of disaster should remain in place. In taking the decision not to impose further restrictions at this stage, we considered the fact that when we encountered previous waves of infection, vaccines were not widely available and far fewer people were vaccinated. This is no longer the case. We will closely monitor infection rates as well as hospitalization over the coming days and we'll review the situation in another week. We are deeply disappointed by the decision of several countries to prohibit travel from a number of Southern African countries, including our own, following the identification of the Omicron variant. This is a clear and completely unjustified departure from the commitment that many of these countries made at the meeting of the G20 countries in Rome last month. Now, these restrictions are completely unjustified and unfairly discriminate against our country and our Southern African sister countries. The prohibition of travel is not informed by science nor will it be effective in preventing the spread of this variant. The only thing the prohibition on travel will do is to further damage the economies of the affected countries and undermine their ability to respond to and also to recover from the pandemic. We call upon these countries that have imposed travel bans on our country and our other Southern African sister countries to immediately and urgently reverse their decisions and lift the bans they have imposed before any further damage is done on our economies and to the livelihoods of our people.